Vlogmas day two. <laughs> and I'm wearing a Santa hat while driving. <laughs> so I am heading to that photo shoot I mentioned yesterday and I am going to be shooting for one of my clients. I'm taking kind of Christmassy pictures. So that is why I have the Santa hat on. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget it. So I was like, I might as well wear it. Um, so we are heading to a Christmas tree farm to take some pictures. I realize I haven't really explained to you guys what I do for work. I know I made, <laughs> let's see if I can get this to stay good. There we go. I know I made a video a while back about like, do I even work? And I kind of took you through like a day in my life, but I didn't really explain like exactly what I do. Um, I really just kind of glanced over my actual work. So what I do is I am, at that point I was working for a company, but now I'm freelance. But what I do is content marketing. So I run social media for certain clients. Um, I do all their photography. I write blog posts for them. Um, so for this particular client, I run his Instagram and I have the fun job of taking cool pictures for them and writing all their Instagram captions and organizing and strategizing their post schedule and their optimization. Um, it's a really fun job. I really enjoy doing it and I get to do cool photo shoots like this, which is always really nice and I get to meet up with my friend and it's amazing to be able to work with my friends. And So right now I am meeting up with my best friend Lauren, who also is a model and we're gonna go to brunch really quick and fill up. It's gonna be really good. We're going to a place called Carl Strauss and it is a really yummy brewery in San Diego. I, um, if you've ever had like Red Trolley, that's like their famous beer. Um, but they actually have really, really good food. So we're gonna go have brunch over there and then we're gonna head over to a Christmas tree farm where we're gonna shoot some holiday type photos with my client's product. And then we're gonna go do our little holiday photo shoot. See, I'm really excited. Guys, look at the snow. Oh my God, the mountain has so much snow on it. Look at all the snow, oh my God. So pretty. We should go there for a photo shoot. Okay, so now I just wanna go up to the mountains and take pictures, but a little bit further away it's about a three hour drive from here to that mountain but it looks so pretty I want to go and just play in the snow now maybe I'll do that for a vlogmas day where I just go drive out to Big Bear and play in the snow would you guys like that <laughs> let me know if you want to watch me play in the snow like a three-year-old <laughs> We are here. We gotta find Lauren. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so excited for some Carl Strauss. They have the best brunch. I'm really, really, really excited. <laughs> so guys, I'm waiting for Lauren to pull up because she just got a new car and I wanna show you, but this van is struggling to find a parking. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny, this poor van. And Lauren's just like waiting, waiting, waiting to pull up in her new fancy car. Oh, dang. Can you guys see her dancing? <laughs> Damn. Hello. Hello. Look at this fancy car. Oh my God, isn't it cute? So it's cute. So cute. <laughs> you guys see Lauren's new car? And, uh, <laughs> She's so excited. Wow, and it just closes just like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, time for some brunch.
<laughs> oh my god that was so awkward we just tried to do a full photo shoot in the trees and people are staring at us and lauren hated it and we shot really fast and <laughs> now we're actually gonna oh that one's so cute and now we're actually gonna tree shop a little bit because we feel bad for like using this tree lot and not really using the tree lot so now we're gonna shop for a baby tree for lauren's living room <laughs> We like this little guy. Look at him, he's so cute. He's like not even as tall as Lauren. It's a baby. <laughs> it's a little baby. He's cute. I like him. What's your guys' take? Real trees or fake trees? Because these are real trees. And they're a little dry already. Yeah. But it's really cute. I think he's cute. I think we should get him. So now we're gonna do a quick photo shoot for Lauren in her new car. We need her to get out of the shadow a little bit. So come forward. And now this way. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Got to frame it up all nice for her. So they have this dough creamery place and we figured we're here. It's the holidays. We should have some. <laughs> Well, so good. Oh my god. That looks so bomb. Mm. I asked the guy what he said his favorite was and he said mixing Oreo ice cream with brownie batter cookie dough combination dough. I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> this is so bad. That's so good. And it's a giant scoop. I don't know if you saw, but this is like the size of my head okay lighting <sighs> oh that was a horrible but delicious decision all right made it back home today has been a whirlwind I wasn't able to really vlog much during my photo shoot with Lauren and that's because we were taking pictures at a active tree lot at Lowe's and people were giving us crazy looks and it was just something we like had to get in and out really, really fast and get the pictures and move on. So I'm back home now. My stomach hurts from that cookie dough. That was a really deliciously bad idea. <laughs> I, I wanted to go back to what I was saying earlier about my job because the last time I really talked about work, I think was during my uh, Why I Travel video, I mentioned that I found a new job and that I was doing my work remotely and that's how I was able to continue traveling, but I didn't really touch base on what's happening now. And so I left that job back in, oh gosh, uh, March of this year. So it's been a while and I looked for work for a really long time and I'll make a full video about this called like I lost my job or something dramatic, but um, I looked for work for a few months and I applied for well over a hundred different jobs and I could not find anything. I was either overqualified and they weren't able to afford the salary I deserved or I was underqualified and I needed more experience. And after applying to over a hundred jobs, I only got two interviews and you know, I've always wanted to start my own business. I've always wanted to own my own agency. And back when I was working at the Union Tribune, I always said I could totally do this without a giant corporation behind me. Like this is, I love my work. I just didn't like the corporate energy and corporate environment. And so I always wanted to start my own thing. And so having left my job, I got a nice severance and I had enough money saved that I was okay for a little while. So that was when I decided right then and there that rather than continuing to waste my time and my energy applying for job after job, knowing that I didn't really want these jobs, that I was gonna focus my energy on building my own business. And so that's what I did. And it took a few months to really get moving, but I have a couple really solid clients now and I do all kinds of work for them. So I mostly identify as a digital marketing freelancer and I offer services from website building and SEO to content creation, photography, content writing, like blog posts on their website, or even 
website content for their website to boost their SEO, um, email marketing, Facebook ads, Google ads, you name it, I offer it. And so that's kind of what I do now. I'm, I know people like to believe that YouTube is a full-time job and it is, it definitely can be a full-time job. It's a lot of work, but right now YouTube does not pay the bills for me. I have to have a full-time job on top of it, but now I am lucky enough to say I am my own boss and I have my own job and it's really fun and really rewarding. And I get to go meet up with my friends and take cool pictures and run around a Christmas tree farm. It's a good time. And I, I just wanted to touch on that and kind of let you guys know what's up with me and work and like what I'm doing to make money these days uh, and just kind of keep you updated on my life. But yeah, that's it. So I finished my shoot with Lauren. The photos are really cute. I am going to finish up this Vlogmas and get into editing because I got to get ready for tomorrow, Vlogmas day three, and I'm so pumped for it. Um, I think we're gonna decorate the house tomorrow. So excited. All right, guys, that'll do it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe because I am vlogging every day leading up to Christmas and it is only gonna get better and better. I will see you tomorrow.